teeny weeny. <laughs> it's so small. What's that about? Guys, welcome to today's video. Totally unscheduled. Unless I'm out of my mind, always a possibility. I thought today was Tuesday, and I didn't expect this until tomorrow, Wednesday. In fact, I didn't actually know what I was going to shoot today. At 3 o'clock in the morning, I started my upload. That was still uploading at 7.30. Thank you, AT&T. But at 3.30 in the morning, I thought, you know what I want to do? I want to do a video on last minute presents, last minute gifts. And I woke up and I started doing some research and I thought, you know what, I, I want it to be thoughtful. Anyone can throw a list together. So I decided, nah, this is something I really need to take some time on. And I didn't know what I was going to shoot today, but I knew I had to shoot. I wanted to shoot because we're going to have three days of rain, which means no shooting at all for me. And look what came in the mail. New Natasha Denona. So I, I just threw on some makeup and a shirt and I didn't even look up the details, but I'm pretty sure these are all new shades. I did watch her video yesterday. And this is the mini Biba. And it doesn't really look like Biba. When she does her minis, I feel that they're more inspired by the palette they're named from. They're not taking the shades from those palettes and putting them in a small form, which is great because I already have the Biba. And, you know, I guess the idea is I could use it with the Biba palette, but it is a standalone palette. And let's do some swatch -roonies. And we're just going to swatch one way to the other. Creamy deliciousness, yes. The first three. Swatching like a dream. There we have them. And the last two. Lovely color story. Really lovely. And then she has a blush and a highlighter. I've never bought one of these before. This is the Rose Duo. It's teeny. It's really small. Super small. I think this is smaller than a credit card. And this is what it looks like. And we're just going to do some swatches. The blush is a cream and the highlighter is a powder. And the highlighter looks really pretty, you guys. So there's the color story. I'm not mad at it at all. Later on, I'm going to pull out the Glam palette, and we're just going to do a little bit of comparison with that, the Glam face palette. On second thought, let's just look at them. I do believe that these would work very well together, too. I was going to say as well, but I already said well. Yeah, kind of digging that. And let's just do swatches of this blush and highlighter in here. Again, the cream, blush, and the powder highlighter. I think this one is quite a bit more powerful. Okay, not a fabulous swatch, but I would say this one from the Glam Face Palette is much warmer than this one. Even though it's called Rose, I don't think it's particularly pink. So let's start with the eyes. I'm really excited. I'm going to scoot up. I'm going to do is start with this shade all over the lid. A little bit dusty. I don't know if you saw that, but see the dust here? Not the end of the world. I do have concealer on the eye, but I have not powdered. And this is the Jumbo brush from Sonia G in the Sky Set, which I I think you could probably buy alone, but I kind of like doing this for my first shade because it's big. I really like the ratio of this palette, only one shimmer. That makes me happy. Two shimmers would have been fine, but one shimmer is really good. And I'm going to go in with this one with my Kitco and kind of shape my eyeball a little bit, a little bit of dust. Trying to feel where my socket is. 
I think I probably wore the wrong color blouse for this, but maybe it'll work because it won't be a monochromatic look. I have been kind of going crazy on the real reel. And this blouse is everything. Everything. So I'm kind of doing a round shape right now. And just pull it out the teeniest bit. On this lid, I can't really feel my eye socket because my tear duct gland is right here. So I just kind of fake it. And now I get to even them up because I got higher on that one than on this one. Now I'm going in with the Chikahoto and I'm blending everything out because that brush is a tapered brush. It's more for precision work. And you could certainly go in with a little bit of that first color and blend the edge that way. Ah, okay. I think really for a day-to-day -day look, do your brows, do a little liner, do a little mascara, and this is lovely. It's warm, but it's not too warm. It's almost, rather than being an orange, it's closer to peach to me. It, uh, it almost reminds me very much of the tone in the Glam Face Palette's blush. I'm going to take a small, I believe this is a Hakoto, it is, and go in with this shade right here for a little lining. This is the darkest shade. Oh, that makes a very nice liner. Super nice. I'm going to see if I can get this in my waterline. I like this color. This chocolate is very neutral. It's not too warm. It's beautiful on the waterline. Let's see if it transfers down to the tight line. Well, whatever, you know, the lower part. Okay. I took the liner all the way in, which is a little bit more dramatic, but I, I kind of, you know, went ham on this side, so I had to even it up on this side. And then I suppose you could, if you have different eyes than me. Because my eyes are on the smaller side, I don't want to, but you could deepen up on the side, outer corner. If I was doing an evening look, I would do that, but I feel like I kind of have a little bit of a liner look now. So I'm going to take this for a ride and see what happens. Non-hooded lids, you could put it right here. I'm hardly touching and then get the edges a little bit. Yeah, for me it's not really <laughs> not really a look. But for a lot of people it is. Do a little inner corner highlight. Open the eye up a little bit. Okay, so what do I think? I think it's lovely. I like the color story. It's warm without being too, too, too warm. And yet, it's not the springy, peachy thing, like when you think of her coral palette. The coral in that is much more vibrant than this coral. So it's a winter-fall, corally kind of look. And it depends on your execution, but I don't think it looks too coral, and I don't think it looks too brown. I definitely want to you know, mascara, <laughs> brows, to give it the final look. But let's first go into blush. Now, because I've been touching shadows, I kind of would like to do this with a brush, but I don't think it would be super, super fair. But I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway, just to see. I'm using this Echo Tools flat brush, which I know, it sounds crazy. and just transferring it to the face. I'm definitely getting payoff that way. 
This is a good tone. It feels like it's a super natural tone for me with the application I just did. But we'll definitely go in a little bit more so you can see the color a little better. And again, I like the color a lot. All right. And the highlighter. I want to use my fingers. I know. It's powder. This is so smooth. But I don't like a huge highlighter look. I want a little bit in a small area. And I find it's tough with brushes. Unless you use like an um, eyeshadow brush. There we go. Very, very, very pretty. This is 100% up my alley because it's not too much. A little bit here. Always a danger. I did this yesterday with something else and the minute I put a highlighter on my nose, it's like, no, too far. It, it looks weird. I want to show you my favorite. And again, this is something you can go on really a lot and get more, but there's something very, very subtle about this Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a lot that I put on, but see how that's just, I, I don't know, there's a beautiful sheen to it. And I feel like this sheen kind of is the same thing. I think it's great for an everyday look. A little bit more on this side than the other, I think. So I'm just going to do that. And I gotta think about my lips and I have to think about everything else. I will be back in a minute with finished face. And that's it, you guys. I really, really enjoy this. I put a little bit of the Givenchy Velvet Sheer Matte in 27 on my lips just for something a little bit natural looking and I feel like actually if I hadn't have done maybe the liner this whole look is pretty darn natural. The cheeks are natural, the lips are natural. I think this is lovely and let's just go on a little bit more with the blush to see how much more we can get. But I really like this blush tone. I'm so excited when people start coming out with colors that are a little bit different. It just kind of brings life to the face, I think. Um, I think that's going to wrap this up. I think it's very, very pretty. I really, really do. I hope that it translates that on camera because the lighting is a little different. I know I yak about it a lot, but to me it's so, so important to try to provide you good lighting so you can see what the colors really are. Part of the reason I even started a channel was because I see swatches and I'd see lipstick colors and I'd see one thing or the other and think, oh, I like that, and I'd buy it, and it was nothing, nothing like what I thought it was like. And so I wanted to provide swatches and colors that were really pretty accurate. And I'm not 100% I'm not we're getting it because of the light, but the sun's coming out a little bit right now. And I think, I think yes, the face is beginning to warm up a little bit. Yes, here comes the sun. I'm very, very pleased. I'm very pleased with both. I'm kind of bummed that this is a teeny weeny. It's so small. What's that about? But I love the color. Just now, looking in the monitor, everything's warming up a little bit. I love this cheek color, and I love the eye story. I love, okay. I think she knocked it out of the park. And I'm, I'm just, you know, I love it when she's on a roll. When she's going into weird land, is disappointing but I feel like she's on a roll again and I'm here for it and that is going to wrap up today's video thank you so much for spending some time with me I hope it was helpful and I hope you come back again until we meet again be smart be safe I'm wishing you 
I'm wishing you good health, but this might be my last video before Christmas. I'm not exactly sure. So if you celebrate Christmas, I am wishing you a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, I'm wishing you a Happy Kwanzaa. Thank you so much. Until we meet again. Mwah.